Hello everyone, Angwi here and today I'm about to grace your screen with this beautiful scarf because yeah. when I'm around the house about 70% of the time I usually have my hair tied and protected away in these scarves. I really have lots and lots of them so you would be seeing a little bit of <laughs> these scarves. But first, before I get into today's video, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, that means this button right here should be red right now. And if you would want to support your girl, which I would appreciate very much, make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I put up a new video. I'm not sure exactly what I wanted to do with my hair, but it was really dirty and I needed to do that. So I just um, washed it and then braided slash twisted some of it and kept it out of the way so it just stayed moisturized and protected but the reason for this video is because in the course of putting up my hair in this sort of protective style just to kind of get it out of the way i had to braid part of it and um kind of single braids and then the other half of it i twisted it up First, for those who don't know, I have a toddler around and you know how taking care of your natural hair sometimes can be challenging and then doing that with the toddler around, you kind of have to come up with some ways in order to cut down on the time in which you spend on um, doing your hair by finding some cuts here and there. So I started off by braiding my hair and then for the other half when I got to it, I just changed my mind and twisted off that other half so that's why i'm here with this video i'm just here to kind of ramble around this and um to also share with you my thoughts and what i think about putting up my hair in this protective style so that's the reason of this video and let's get into it so i'll be taking down the twist and braid with you and we'll all see how my hair held up over this time so scarf down and this is what we're working with Not bad. So, um, I divided my hair into half, and this first half I braided it up, and the other half I had the twist installed in them. And um, I started off with this, and then why I started um, installing the braids, I just noticed that it was taking a little bit long. Of course, I have just um, six twists sorry six twists and six braids as well on each side of my hair but um and they are quite chunky which doesn't require so much time but sometimes you just want to spend about 10 to 15 minutes to do your hair and you're out of there and installing those twists sometimes takes a little bit longer so i started by putting up my hair in this twist and um it was just taking so long I mean <laughs> it was taking longer than i wanted it to be because it's not it didn't take up to an hour or i would say it took me about 30 to 40 minutes to be completed with this side and then with this other side i think about 15 to 20 minutes not more because what i did was i just um put in my leave-in conditioner at once in the whole chunk of hair and then I just went in to seal it with the oil as I was twisting and braiding each um, individual pieces yeah so <laughs> let's start by unraveling to see but overall my hair looks moisturized and nice and um, let's see how it looks when I take them down
so i'm done with this first half of the hair and it took me quite a while to unravel this so that is one of the reasons and issues i'm having with installing my hair in braids however we will talk a little bit on that but i will move over to this side and um it's really going to take no time and we can do that on here all i do is i just twist the hair back in the opposite direction in which i twisted it up and in just two three counts you're done i mean that piece is done with and i do the same to all the other twist really easy to unravel and I had a knock on my window from the outside. And that's it. This is really easy. I mean, I would go for twist any time of the day. And I'm done unraveling my whole hair. Overall, I think um, for a protective style, this wasn't bad. I mean, my hair held up pretty good for almost a week and it still feels um, moisturized. And um, yeah. Of course, I was not doing this with the intention of doing some sort of a braid out or a twist out. I just wanted to moisturize my hair and let it be sealed and kept away but protected. This, this turned out really well. So in order to install these twists and braids into my hair, what I used as a living was the Mani Moisture Shea Butter Hair Mask. So um, it is actually a hair mask, but it says that you can also use it as a um, leave-in conditioner actually i think it is stated on the bottle somewhere not so sure it says it's a uh, three in one and so far this is the only natural hair product i mean the afro natural hair product i've been able to find on the shelves here in denmark so it can be challenging to cater for your natural hair here especially if you want to go with the trendy products that are out there however you can always make some things work out for you enhance a few things here and there which is what i've been doing and be able to take care of my natural hair till this day so a few points i have to make First, looking over to this um, first half of the hair, and this is the section that I installed the braids in them. For the installation process, it took me quite some time to install this um, the braids in this section. Even though I sectioned the hair and took equal amount, I mean equal number of braids on this um, half of the hair as well as this other half of the hair, but it took that to put up the braids. So that is something to note. Whereas for this other half of the hair, it was much quicker to put in the braid. And throughout the period during which I had the braid and twist um, installed in my hair, sometimes I just went in with a um, regular spray bottle and kind of just spritz some water on it and take a little bit of this um, leave-in conditioner together with my oil and just kind of rub it on top of it to kind of just make sure that my hair still stays moisturized because you go in and out with scarves and all those things so it's kind of sucking up the moisture and you want to keep your hair still moisturized even though it is in that protective i didn't care a lot about unraveling or how my hair looked from the inside because it was braided and twisted up in really chunky braids and twists so which held up the moisture and also because I wasn't going to exit over a week so that was enough time and the moisture was enough to keep my hair this fresh and moisturized until now that I'm Just taking like it down. the installation process the takedown process for the braid section of my hair also took quite a bit longer you could see how I was struggling going in and there trying to swap tools and going in even with a 
right take home to kind of carefully take down the braid so it makes the process just much longer and sometimes you just want to go in there and quickly unravel your hair unlike this other side it was really easy it took me less than three minutes to unravel this whole section mind you i had just about six um twist on this section as well as six twists um on this um sorry as well as six braids on this other section of the hair but it took really longer to take down this hair and um for moisture retention overall the hair looks healthy there is still good amount of moisture in my hair and it looks fresh and nice but i noticed that uh, this other half of the hair feels much more moisturized and um yeah whereas this other side of the hair is looks a little bit dry and brittle but even though it looks a little bit frizzy there there is more definition from this other side of the hair with the braids compared to this other side of the hair and i don't mind that because if i wanted to wear this hair as a braid out or twist out i'm sure i would opt for braids and i would go in with much more smaller braids and then i would have the definition but overall for me i noticed that um this section of the hair looked more defined compared to this other section of the hair now speaking of the stretch i noticed that i know i've been manipulating and playing in with the hair but i noticed that um with the braided section of the hair i am able to kind of show off my length more like it kind of stretches and elongates my hair more compared to the um the other half of the hair in which i twisted it up and um yeah that's just something to note which i don't really mind because all i care is how my hair looks and how it feels it should be um healthy and so am i still going to be braiding up my hair yes of course i will from time to time but if i have to choose i would um go with twist more often because sometimes you don't have that much time to spend on your hair and it's easy to kind of slap in some moisture and then put up your hair in some twist and get it out of the way so given that kind of situation i would go for my twist however i would still be going in with my braids from time to time but the twists have been and will always be my go-to style that i can always in a twinkle of an eye get my hair up into and i'm out of the way i'm not really sure how i want to wear this hair today but i will probably just kind of put it in a bun or something So that was it for this video I just wanted to come out here and to share with you how I feel about putting up my hair in this twist slash braid and what do you think what would you opt for braid or twist so what I want you to do is to comment below what your own go-to hairstyle is is it twist or braid and what you think about the moisture retention thanks for watching this video see you in my next one bye, -bye.